welcome or welcome back to my channel. It's Hillary Jubilee. Merry Christmas. I'm filming this. The time of this recording is Christmas Day 2021. And we have been planning this self-concept challenge for about a month now. So I'm excited. Let's get into day one. So today is day one of this 12 days of Christmas challenge that we are doing. And I have integrated the song into this challenge. Uh, so let's get into it. So today, day one. On the first day of Christmas, my true love gave to me all of my heart's greatest desires. Hint, you are your true love. <laughs> your true love is you. That's the spoiler. So you're going to give yourself everything that you want. So today is heart's desires. Day one, self-concept challenge heart's desires. So for today, we're going to start by thinking about what your self-concept would be, what your concept of self would be in relation to things that you want. So I'm going to give some examples. We're going to just focus on one thing today uh, for the rest of the day, but let's. I'll just give a few examples. And then throughout the challenge, I'm going to focus on certain areas as well. So uh, we'll just maybe pick one that's most important to you right now for for day one so all you have to do you know to manifest any desire is to identify with the person that already has that thing right law of assumption assuming that what you want is already yours because imagination is the only reality the anything that was created first started in the imagination and it's law that if you persist in the assumption of already having it or pers persist in any assumption that it will harden into fact. So somebody commented, I'm just gonna mention this, somebody commented on my yesterday's video about I've been affirming for something and there's no change. What do I do? Well, you persist. An assumption, though false, if persisted in will harden into fact. Not just if you say it and then look around for it. You have to be committed to it. Do you want it bad enough? because you have to want it bad enough to persist. This is the thing, like it's not always easy, right? You can affirm that it's easy for you, but if at the beginning you're not used to, you know, creating and you're more used to victim mentality, which is kind of what a lot of us, you know, are, are taught and we're, we've, we fall into that sometimes when we think that the world is doing things to us and we are affected by other things. It's like, no, we gotta flip it on its head. We're persisting in, the assumption until it hardens into fact. If you don't see evidence, you haven't persisted. I don't care how long it's been. If you're looking around complaining, you're not living in the end, you're not embodying the version of you who already has it, and you haven't persisted. Like you have to hold the faith when you see no evidence. There's nothing more to do other than to persist. So if you need help with, you know, your affirmations, or if you need help with conceptualizing the version of you who already has it, or if you need help with dealing with the 3D, then feel free to book me for coaching. I do offer coaching down in the description box below, okay? So back to the challenge, I just went on a little ta tangent there, but we're gonna conceptualize the version of ourselves that already has this our heart's desires. So we're shifting our identity from somebody who lacks this thing or things to somebody who is just a normal part of life. It's just an everyday normal part of life that is part of your self-concept that you already have that thing. You already have that relationship. It's just a knowing like that is already yours. It's, you know, if you have a job that you want, it's just a knowing, just like embodying that you already have that. So it's not to say that you would quit your job right away uh, because it just it's just the energy behind your action, right? So it's not to say that you just like up and randomly operate in your 3D as if that were true in some cases that you may want to do certain things. But if you're coming at it from a lack energy, you're going to get lack reflected back, right? So we're embodying the version of us first, getting into the energy of already having that thing. So self-concept challenge, anything that we want, it's all, you have to point the finger back at yourself. It's all within you anyway. So what concept of yourself can you embody that already has your heart's desire? So I'm going to give some examples of some affirmations in certain areas. You can pick one of these or whatever the one thing on your mind that you really want is. So let's start with specific person, right? So if you want to manifest a specific person, if you don't have a specific one in mind, it doesn't matter. I just mean like 
if you want a relationship, basically, you want an SP, there's still a specific person, even if you don't know who they are. Like you can create one from scratch if you don't know who the person is, but whether you know who it is or not, you, you can affirm. I am such a loving girlfriend or I am such a loving partner, boyfriend, wife, husband, whatever the word is, and you can change loving for whatever adjective you want. So I also like, I'm a hot wife, I'm an amazing partner, I'm a good girlfriend, I'm a thoughtful partner, you know, change it around, like what feels good, like what is something that you can resonate with, what is something that you can get behind, that your energy can get behind, like yeah, I really like the identity of thoughtful partner or, you know, generous girlfriend or whatever, like what what would you embody if you um, were in a relationship and who are you in that relationship? That's what is your self-concept in relation to the relationship? I am a blank partner. I am a blank boyfriend. I am a blank wife. Like what would, what would suit you and what would you feel like you can get into that um, identity of being that and then throughout the day, if you choose to focus on relationship and, and on day one today, then can you embody that and step into that and really just carry yourself as if you already are that? Like you are being that wish fulfilled, you are being that now, and you are being that regardless of your evidence, regardless of your 3D evidence, right? We're being that. We are becoming that. It's your self-concept, your concept of self. How do you view yourself in this relationship if you pick that today so if you choose physical appearance or health I love my body I am so strong I am the healthiest I've ever been right so let's pick you know pick you would pick your topic for today and then you pick maybe one affirmation to to like ruminate on that and be and feel into it and like we're not just saying it to say it we're saying it because it brings us into that mood of, of being that. So if you wanted to focus on money today, then which I will mention that we are doing another day for money, but if that's something that's like high on your, your list of heart's desires, then if you wanna focus on that today, then, you know, I am so good with money. Money loves me. My money mindset is on point, right? So again, we're choosing, if you're choosing that, you just pick one affirmation to go with today and really just like, as you're saying it, really feel into it. And then my final uh, example for today would be a job. So if you have a certain career choice, if you want to be an entrepreneur, start your own business, or there's a position in a job that you want, I am the best employee at wherever you want to work. I love my job. I'm the best, I'm the best at what I do, you know, and really feel into it. Like if it feels like a lie, adjust it and tweak it so that it feels it rings true right like you want it you want to really feel into it it's not just saying it to say it oh i'm doing the self-concept challenge i'm just gonna say this a hundred times and then it's just gonna be true like really step into it when you're saying it is the point i'm trying to drive home <laughs> so before we go into our day with focusing on that one thing right now wherever you are if you're listening to this on the go if you're driving or whatever i don't know what you guys do when you're watching youtube videos for me sometimes i drive sometimes i'm cleaning sometimes i'm just sitting there watching it whatever you're doing if you can stop for a second right now and just go within like if you're driving you can still do it with your eyes open <laughs> uh, but if you're just sitting there just for a second just let's go within for a moment let's close our eyes Let's take a deep breath. Let's hold it. <sighs> Let's release it. Okay. We're just gonna have a moment here. Let's take a few minutes. Let's choose to let go of anything that is not serving us from our previous identity. Let's choose to let go of lack. Let's choose to let go of resentment or anger towards any others let's clear space up to become a version of us that we really are proud of and really feel good about so let's let go of any resentment like feel the resentment just let's wash that resentment away let's wash the the guilt away let's wash any fear away Let's wash any doubt away that we can't become this version of us. Let's take another deep breath. 
and let's select a version of us that we prefer. And let's step into that version of us again and again. And let's forgive ourselves if there's elements of ourselves that we would like to let go of. Okay, so let's clear the space away of, let's, let's clear anything away that needs to be cleared to make room for this new identity, right? We can't be straddling two identities at once. So let's let go of lack. Let's let go of poverty mindset. Let's let go of resentment about being single if you're single. Let's let go of um, feeling like not enough. Let's let go of feeling like if you don't like your job, let's let go of that. Let's let's remember that we are in control of our lives and we can create whatever we want. Let's remember who we are. Let's let go of all of that other stuff because it only exists in your mind. We might see evidence of it in our 3D from, you know, we've created this from it living in our minds. So it's all up to us to shift our identity to somebody who actually has our heart's desires and isn't like, let's let go of complaining. Let's let go of uh, self-hatred. Like let's just let all of that stuff go. If you feel something coming up like that, like really scrutinize it. Like if you have a thought that comes up and it's like, oh, you, if you're just trying to affirm like your heart's desire and you have that voice in your head, that's like, oh, that's not true. Like you're not, you're not good enough for that. Or you could never have that. Or this stuff doesn't work. Like really just something that Amanda Francis talks about this, this technique of, is this ultimately true? Like if there's, if there's a thought that comes up and it's like, oh, is this true? Like, are you not enough? Like, no, you're in, you're, you are enough. Everybody here who is on earth, I believe has a purpose. You know, you have a purpose within you and everything that you could ever want. The, the, the means to get there is within you. There's no limits. The only limits are the ones we place in ourselves and we need to scrutinize those limiting beliefs and self-doubt and all that stuff. Like it, I'm, I'm sure everybody has it, but it's, we have to rise up above it. So when it comes up, is this ultimately true? Is there, if there's a limiting belief like, uh, you could never do that, it's not possible for you. Is this ultimately true? Well, no, because somebody's done it before or I understand that I am more than just my human ego. Like there's, we're all, we all have God within us or we all have source energy or we're part of the universe, right? However you want to word it. So there, there's no limits. It's, 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 it's limitless possibilities. So no, it's not ultimately true that that can't happen for you. If you choose to believe that it can, it will. Whether you think you can or you think you can't, you're right. So let's let go of all of that stuff. If it comes up, like let's deal with it and let's, you know, prove it wrong and let it go so that we can create this new identity and create this new self-concept that we prefer. So let us also, let's take another deep breath. How would it feel? And like, let it go. <laughs> Don't hold it for too long. Just, just take a few deep breaths for a second again. How would it feel if you had all of your heart's desires right now? If they were all just, they all just appeared suddenly in front of you? How would that feel, right? That Would you feel grateful? Would you feel overjoyed, ecstatic, excited? So bring those feelings up into your body because the reality in your imagination is real. And if you can hold yourself into that and keep stepping into that, it's not that we always have to be happy and positive. Like it's not like about forcing that, but if you can bring yourself into that, like if you can do a meditation, go for a walk and be mindful and just feel into the limitless possibilities of what you can create, you can have every day, everything, you can have it all. So remember that and feel into what, would, what it would be like today to have all of your heart's desires. And then going forward for the rest of the day, let's also focus in on one, pick one affirmation for whatever your main heart's desire is. And let's just focus on that one affirmation for today. And that is all I have for day one. Thank you for watching. And I love you very much. Merry Christmas. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.